Hi everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage. It's Paper Craft Saturday and I'm Leslie Watkins. Thank you for joining me today. So we woke up this morning to snow outside um, just as the daffodils were kicking it into high gear and the star magnolias were about to um, explode, we have now, I don't know, maybe three or four inches of snow. And uh, it seems to stop, have stopped right now, but um, I was out earlier today taking some pictures, so I thought I'd see if I could show you some of those. So hang on. There we go. Can you see that? So here are the uh, Persithias over here, my Harry Lauder walking stick, the daffodils. This is the front of my house, and this was last night. So it's kind of, it's, it's pretty, but I think we're kind of over it right now. <laughs> so anyway, so, <clears throat> excuse me, let me grab a cup of tea here. I've got my dandelion tea, of course. So I just, I wanted to show you some of the um, archival papers that I um, use to mount my watercolor cards. And I sell Stampin' Up! products. These are, these are some of the archival, 100% cotton, uh, dyed through to the core papers so that you can cut them and get beautiful results with them. And they, <clears throat> excuse me, they coordinate with all the inks and the other things in the catalog. Um, they're divided into four groups. So you see the neutrals, the brights, the settles and the regals. So I can pretty much match any watercolor that I paint to one of these colored papers to create a mat. So I'm going to show you today how I make a very simple mat. So this is the this is the picture that I painted on Wednesday. This is um, I'm happy I got my star magnolia painting before the snow came because now they're all brown and shriveled up but there will be more coming so um, what I want to do is select a color that's going to offset this and give it a nice border and in the stem here I have this kind of reddish brown so I think that's what I'm going to go for so the first thing I need to do is create a card base so I'm going to take out my trimmer, and um, this has, I don't know if you can see, the, can I zoom out more? Not so much, okay. So this, this trimmer has an arm on it, so I can extend all the way to 17 inches, which is really handy. I'm not going to need it that long today. And it has on it both a cutting blade, which is this darker one, and a scoring blade, which, which is what enables you to get a nice crisp fold. And we're not going to use that uh, just yet. I'm going to start with a piece of thick cardstock. This is a uh, kind of a creamy color called Very Vanilla. And this cardstock is thicker than the other card stocks we have so it's very vanilla thick and I want this card to open up tent style landscape position so I'm going to score it at four and a quarter and using this trimmer allows me to get absolutely precise scores and cuts so I'm just going to give that a little crease in it I don't know if you can see that so well. There you go. 
And then I'm going to cut it in half at five and a half. So now I've got two perfect folded cards and I can I can take my bone folder just bend that over and give that a nice crisp fold like so. Now for the mat I want it to be a little bit smaller than the card base. So instead of, um, let me cut it this way first. So instead of four and a quarter, I'm going to cut this at four and an eighth. And then I'm going to cut it long ways. Instead of at five and a half, I'm going to, I'm going to cut that at five and three eighths. We can take a look at that, and I'm happy with that thin border showing with the paler color. I like that. And now my picture is a little bit bigger. Now normally, when I do a watercolor, I recommend that you tear the sides to get a nice decal effect. But in this particular case, this watercolor was painted towards the end of the paper where it's already got a straight cut. So instead of trying to tear off that little tiny strip, I'm just going to cut it down flat this time. So I'm going to say about a quarter of an inch all around. So let's see, let's see how that looks. I'm just going to square this side up first. Now, when you cut it upside down, you sometimes get this little lip. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it, because the blade went along this way, this side is now bent up a tiny little bit. To fix that, all you do is take your bone folder and just gently push that back down again. And now it's perfect. Okay. So let's trim this side. And I'll take that to five and a quarter. Alrighty, and then here I'm going to trim this down to three and three quarters. Just a little bit more to make sure I catch that edge. Okay, I didn't I didn't go it was too close to the edge, so I'm gonna bring it in just a tiny bit more so I got a nice clean cut. There we go. Oh, I can go further. All right, so what I so in this case, what I would do is I'm just going to eyeball it. All right. And I know I've got a little more room on this side, so I'm just going to take my thumbnail and put a little mark right there. Take out this paper. And put this in just there. Okay, that's good. All right. So um, while we're looking at magnolias here, I want to remind everybody that in May, 
the online classes are going to feature magnolias. So both the watercolor class and the paper crafting class. And I'm going to have a number of different options for you. So if you're interested in joining in with some of the, the classes next month, please go to Dandelion Cottage Design and subscribe to Notes from Dandelion Cottage. And Notes is a monthly email that you get on the first of the month that tells you what the upcoming classes are and all the details. And each one is different. They're, they're never the same. And so there's um, the prices vary, the projects vary, and the uh, techniques vary. So you, you really need to check in with notes to find out what's coming up. You'll also find special deals and discounts. So um, take a look. I think you'll like it. All right, so back to our card here. I'm just going to take some liquid glue starting in the middle and then working my way almost to the edge but not quite. I've got about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch border there. I'm going to place that on my mat. And what I'm doing is I'm um, making the sides and the top even, and I'm giving a little bit extra along the bottom. And that just, that just makes it look a little more pleasing to the eye. It just gives it a little extra weight at the bottom. And then I'm going to take my bone folder again, and I'm going to gently distribute that glue. So it's nice and smooth. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. Make sure I've got it right side up. And get that into position. Now, the, um, the multi-purpose liquid glue gives you just a, a couple of seconds to change things up a little bit. So you can, you can push it to get it exactly where you like it. And when you're happy with that, just give it a burnish. And you're set. If you'd like to see some of the colors that are available in this cardstock, go to Dandelion Cottage Design. Oops, there you go. And um, there's a page that says Shop. And on that page, if you click on that, it will bring you to the Stampin' Up! catalog that has all the information and all the different products and papers that you can take a quick look at and see if you're interested in something. So that, that's all for today. Um, I hope you like the card. I just wanted to show you something very simple and let you know about what's coming up in May. And uh, I hope that you'll join me and we'll get some watercolor painting and some paper crafting done. I hope that you stay well, stay safe, stay in and stay creative. So uh, I'll see you next on Watercolor Wednesday at 12 noon right here. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.